The other day I got a message from a designer called Yolanta and she was asking me about how to present her work in a portfolio. She was asking mainly about how many images should she put. She said, I checked out your portfolio and you're just showing one image for uh, the project, but I don't feel that I'm in a position right now that showing just one image is enough. I wanna show more images, but I'm not sure how many I show, uh, like five, 10. I saw that some designers put everything they did, like the fonts, the colors, but I feel it's too much. And she was struggling with how to present her work and the art direction around it. She asked me to check out her website and give her some feedback and thoughts about how you should present your uh, projects in your portfolio. So let's take a look in the portfolio. All right, uh, basically I wanna start off by saying that my general approach is, if I quote Einstein, everything should be as simple as possible, but not simpler. That means that you should show as less as possible because people don't really have time, but if you feel that one image is not enough to show the context of what you did to present yourself in a professional manner, or if you feel like you need to show a little bit more, then show the minimum that you have to do to deliver on that value. So let's check out your website and see. So basically this is uh, Yolanta's website. If I check out one project for a mobile app, then it start off by giving a little bit of context about the project and she says here, my scope was UX and UI design, logo along all the materials. And then she shows a bunch of images. Now, there's a lot of images here on oh, still loads more, but my my issue here is that there's not really context as to why this is the design decision that you, you came up with. What, are, what am I supposed to see here? Um, am I supposed to see this uh, payment screen or this charge screen? What, it just looks good, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to look at and what was your role or what you were trying to convey here. So I wanna give an example. Just, just the other day I was talking to a freelancer friend of mine and she was sending me her website and I really, really dig the way that she presents her work. So I wanna show this to you because I think this is a great example. So um, this is the website of my friend, her name is Leon. Um, so basically it starts with a little bit of text about her and then she presents her work. And when you go inside of her project, then she start off by telling you what is the project and then for every element she's explaining the rational about why she made this choice so first of all it looks very beautiful it's art directed it, it looks good but i'm seeing images in a context of what she was trying to do um, for example although arms is a complex product the approach was to make things simpler i know what she was trying to do as a designer what's the problem that she was trying to solve What's the, why did she brand them the way that she did? So I think this is a really great way to show case study. So let's take another example for culture trips. So it's the same way that the images are presented nicely and are directed, but there's always context about what am I seeing here? What was the problem? And what was the solution that she was trying to approach um, as a designer? Now she doesn't always show wireframes and sketches and stuff like that, only if she feels like that's an important part of the argument and the value that she provided to the company. So I think this is a really great example. And in general, I think that the best way to present the value that you provided, because you didn't just make things beautiful, you actually provided more value about usability, about the business objectives of the company. So I feel like case study is a great format to present your work and it's not just kind of like dribbling your work into beautiful images that don't really communicate your value as a designer, right? Later on, you wanna charge a lot of money, you want your clients to understand why they're paying a lot of money, so you have to explain to them your thought process and why you did the things that you did. Basically, those are my thoughts around presenting your work in a portfolio. I didn't do that for myself because I just don't feel like I need to waste time on that. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm in a position right now where my clients come from referrals, so they trust me and I don't need to show that. That's a great position to be in, but I totally dig your, your position, Yolanta, and you should do what works for you. All right, that's all for today. Basically, it's been a pretty good day, pretty productive. <laughs> And tomorrow is the Jewish New Year's Eve, so we kind of had a little celebration at my client's office. <laughs> and so I won't be vlogging for the upcoming two days. Hope you guys have some great time and Happy New Year if you live in Israel or if you're Jewish. And I will catch you next week.